today's seminar was very interesting because it tried to bring together and succeeded, I think, uh, the energy sector players, stakeholders, and the IT sector, the tech companies, in a quite unique experiment to get the two sides to talk together. And they found that they had many areas of common interest. Well, as you know, this is a year of change, 2019 in Brussels, that everybody seems to be changing jobs. New European Commission, the New European Parliament. So this seminar was very timely because it gives a very good opportunity for people around the table to discuss common solutions potentially and see there how they can make that kind of input into the new institutions taking office later this year. Today's event with the PPKE and Polish Electricity Association and Microsoft, uh, we managed to discuss over the digitalization agenda and the mega trends which will uh, meet the new commission. Uh, PKE presented itself on the map of innovation and we managed to, uh, to be, if not a key player, one of the important uh, advisors in this matter. Well, first of all, thanks a lot for, for inviting Win Europe to take part in this uh, in this very good discussion. I think it's it's really critical. I think everybody agrees that we need to break down the silos uh, to look at how uh, the energy trends uh, and, and digitalization the technology providers can really work together. We have a role to play in developing new business models. Um, one of the things that we heard is that you know data centers would amount to 20% of the electricity consumption uh, going forward, uh, and the big IT companies, Microsoft and others, uh, want to be provided uh, green electricity uh, in order to be able to do that um, in a clean way that's compatible with our long-term decarbonization commitments. I would like to see the beauty of implementation of new technologies, artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, drones to be implemented not only in the uh, uh, energy sector but also other sectors which cooperate with each other. And as a priority for the new European Commission, I would suggest less of legislation, more of implementation.